Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another GRT price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the GRT chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We have also seen a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had been trading within which is this descending channel which is right here which has now given us a breakout to the upper side and after seeing the breakout to the upper side whatever we expect next Next is a retest of the upper side of the channel and once the retest is in and a success then we can continue gearing up to the upper side. We have also continued to obey the ADO12 structures where we had been seeing a breakdown to the lower side in these higher ADO12 count too and we managed to get into the minimum retestment area which I have marked here on the charts using this red target area down here which lies between the $0.1447 mark and the $0.0907 mark which is a target area that we have almost fully maximized giving us a low at around the $0.1053 mark and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of these of three and before I get further into the technical analysis and also sketch out my target areas to the upside in the formation of that wave three first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to first give you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that after making our lower low down there at around the $0.05 one eight dollar mark we started that massive bounce to the upside obeying the ADO12 structures where you can see that I have this one to set up and after seeing the one to set up we started this ADO12 structure to the upper side where you can see that I have this ADO12 structure in red having that as the first wave giving us a picket around the $0.2325 mark and after seeing the high for that wave one we started a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave two and using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one that gave me a minimum retestment area to the lower side in the formation of that with two between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78 which is a target area that we almost fully maximized meaning there are chances that we have bottomed out in the formation of that higher ADO12 count too and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of these wave three and sketching out a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave three by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the FIPS to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.3886 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 3 to the upper side to do before we can expect a pullback in the formation of that wave 4 then continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5 and in the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 which is an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation within the formation of that higher ADO 12 count 3 having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for that wave 3 to the upper side and I believe we are seeing such a scenario on the one hour chart so jumping to the one hour chart for further analysis and also give you the micro ADO 12 count that you can expect here on the GRT chart you can see that after seeing our low in the formation of that wave 2 at around the 0.01053 dollar mark we started this massive bounce to the upper side and by first giving you a measure from that low down there to the high that you have at the moment you can see that the market is up by more than 40.29 percent which is a very nice bounce to the upper side and getting to the ADO12 structures you can see that I have these as the first wave to the upside then a wave two then I believe that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the formation of these wave three to the upper side where we have picked in the formation of that wave three at around the 0.1484 dollar mark and there are chances that whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of a corrective structure in the formation of that we four before we can continue gearing up in the formation of that we five and sketching out a target area to the lower side in the formation of that we four by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the second wave to the high of that with three that gives me a minimum retestment area in the formation of that wave 4 between the FIB level 0.382 and the FIB level 0.5 which is a target area that lies between the $0.133 mark and the $0.1283 mark and it is within this blue target area down here that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave and once we fully maximize our target area in the formation of that wave 4 then we can continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5 to fully maximize an even larger ADO 12 count 1 to the upper side once we see 
the formation of this wave 5 so the moment we lose the 20 day ma here on the one hour chart we need to be watching this blue target area between the 0.133 dollar mark and the 0.1287 dollar mark because there are chances that we might see a bit of a pullback into that target area before we can continue gearing up in the formation of that wave 5 so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and getting back to the four hour chart so that we can take a look at the indicators here on the rsi on the rsi we are trading at around the 67 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support higher prices but in case the breakdown to the lower side to give us a retest of this upper side of the channel and also to give us a bit of a corrective structure in the formation of that before that movement will still be supported on the rsi on the mark we have been able to print a bullish cross fully supporting higher prices and jumping to the daily charts to give you what i'm expecting on the long-term scenarios basing it on the edit of structures here on the daily the chart you can see that GRT from these low prices that had been trading within we saw that massive bounce to the upper side seeing the all time high at around the 2.9 dollar mark in what I'm terming is that first wave to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing our prices in a move that gave us a low at around the 0.0518 dollar mark in what I'm terming is the low for that second wave and after seeing the low for that higher edit wave count to whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is the start of an impulsive wave to the upside in the formation of that with three where i have minimum target areas at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 4.6866 dollar mark and that is the minimum that i'm expecting grt to do on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated